Hello class, I'm going to give you an example from one of your fellow students, Jeremiah, who gave me permission to use his. So this is discussion board number two, listing versus addition. Most of you have done this properly, but some of you have not. So I just wanted to give you a little help here. So the prompt in a nutshell is, what are listing words and addition words? And you should watch the class videos that I made and read the material there. Some students are giving me addition and listing words from other sources have nothing to do with the context of reading and writing so and also be careful because that's plagiarism be careful if you're using outside words you need to cite them or give them credit but back to here the prompt listing or addition words were the requirements paragraphs should have a topic sentence support and a closing sentence use an MLA heading and here you are here's the sample that I give you so I'm gonna pull up Jeremiah's and we're gonna go through it and see if he goes through all of these steps. So what I've done is I copy and pasted his over into a Word document so it's easier to see. So if you notice, here's his heading, uh, his name, my name, the name of the class, and then the date. The date we'll talk about later. So it should be actually 31 August, then spelled out, and then the date. But that's okay for right now. So then here, look here. There are a few ways to help you understand and know when important information is coming in a paragraph. Nice introduction. Listing and addition words are two types of words that help you to know when either list details or let you know when a major detail is about to be stated. This is this topic sentence. Remember, the topic sentence is the topic and the controlling idea. Topic here is listing and addition. What's the controlling idea? What are we going to learn about? What does the author, Jeremiah, want us to learn about listing and addition? And he tells us listing is this, addition is that. And then he'll go into his support. Since he put listing first, he goes into listing. Listing words are this. Then he gives us example. So listing words are words that let you know a list of details is coming. That's his major detail number one. Then, for example, he's giving us what listing words are. That would be a minor detail, correct? So then he should go into addition words. Addition words are words. That's his second major detail his first major detail is listing then for example he's giving examples of what addition words are that would be his minor detail because it's supporting the major detail here which are addition words and then let's take a look he needs a closing a closing you're just summing up or tying or connecting all of this together listing and addition words are both great tips he know he's re, he's restating the major point of or topics of what we're supposed to learn and then he goes on through here and look major and minor details will be so that's what he talks about so he had an introductory sentence topic sentence um losing listing words are or he could say first listing words are that's a major then he gives examples of what listing words are that's a minor then addition words are, he could say, uh, also or next. Addition words are blah, 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 major detail. What are types of addition words? That's his minor detail sentence. And then here he has a closing. He comes full circle. He ties it all together. This is what yours should look like. And did he answer the prompt? Yes, he did. And where did he get this information from? I know he got it from the readings and from the videos I made because I went over all of this explicitly. Okay, everybody, I hope this helps. Thanks.